Yo, what up, YouTube? All right, so I jumped out in the driveway real quick. Knees are feeling good and went ahead and uh, decided to jump up a little bit, see if I could get even like one inch higher than last week. So basically, um, I was able to get the soccer ball down on 9-9, nine, nine, and just even at like 9-6, like everything just felt way like smoother timing-wise. Honestly, when I still watch the videos, I remember how I used to move, you know, when I was much younger, and so I know that there's more there. Still look a little heavy, a little slow, timing still a little off, but much better than previous weeks. Hey, I got an inch higher than last week, the ones that were even lower than that, the timing starting to feel super smooth. Uh, my knees are feeling much better. So I think overall it was really good progress. And uh, I mean, honestly, I'm having fun with it. It's really cool. And get the chain net, like hearing that go down with that. Um, I was out actually doing a little skateboarding with my son and my knees just felt really warmed up after kind of, we were just carving out and going in and out of some cones and stuff and messing around. And I felt super warmed up, so I was like, you know what? How about we just go ahead and see how I'm jumping today? And I kind of like, I know that the pavement of the blacktop's harder on your knees, but I like the fact that I'm jumping off of that because I think when I go indoors, I'm gonna be able to get up way higher because you can usually jump way higher off, uh, or at least a couple inches higher off the wood than you can off of um, blacktop. So weights like 182, 183. Um, it was a couple of pounds higher than the last time I did a video, but I think that everything's starting to kind of click in and I'm enjoying it. So it's a, it's a lot of fun. Um, other than that, I'm going to keep doing a ton of the sissy squat work that I got from the at knees over toes guy. Um, I'm going to keep working on the timing. I really think the timing of just jumping and I, and I forgot I used to do that a ton as a kid. I was always dunking on lower rims. So then once I was able to get higher, you know, I could, you know, do some dunks with volleyballs and then occasional alley-oop and this and that. And that was a long time ago, but still, I just forgot about how important that is because that timing, and I need to go get a couple of real good basketballs so I can work on the lob bounces. Got three weeks roughly to my birthday, and I'd really like to get one down then, it would be sick. So I feel like if I can, over the next two or three weeks, get the um, soccer ball down on 10, which I know would be 10, 11, 12, that's three more inches, doable. And then uh, I think I should, if I could time it right, I think I could do a lob dunk. Um, that's kind of the plan. So we will see. Anyway, good week of training. Got my show coming up this week. And um, rock and roll. Talk to you soon. Peace.